Howdy. I'm in my Western wear, so we're going with the theme this week. Um, we are working today. This is your digital anchor chart for uh, standard MGSE 5MD1, which says that you can convert among different size standard measurement units within a system and use these conversions to solve problems. So today we're going to take a look at the U.S. customary system. Um, there's two measurement systems, U.S. customary, obviously we use it here in the U.S., and the metric system, which is used worldwide. You will find some things here in the U.S. In, that are um, in the metric system, grams, meters, um, what's the other one, liters. So a two liter of Coke, that's the metric system. A gallon of milk, that's the U.S. customary system. So um, two systems of measurements. We don't have to go back and forth between them, but we do have to be able to convert within those systems. We've done some practice with this in our problem of the day, a little preview of this um, standard, but this is actually our time to learn um, how this works. So the learning target says I can convert units of measurement within the same system and I can solve problems using conversions. So what you're going to find here on the anchor chart is a this is a custom customary conversion chart. So it gives you the conversions for length. We have feet and yards and miles. Um, weight, we use pounds and ounces and even tons. Um, time, years, week, days, hours, seconds. For capacity, I like my gallon house. You have seen it before. There are many other ways. There are gallon people. Uh, many ways to remember this, but I like to use the gallon house. It's a big G. Within the gallon, you have four windows or four quarts. In each window, you have two people or two pints. And each of the pints has two cups or two eyeballs. So I, um, if, I if I'm having to answer um, questions about converting with gallons and cups and pints and quarts, I'm going to draw the gallon house. It takes me about 60 seconds to draw. I can use it to answer all of my questions. So I would suggest that you do the same. Um, this gives us our capacity conversions there and to know that there is eight fluid ounces in a cup. So basically everything you're going to need to answer these questions can be found on this chart. Uh, now we're, I'm going to show you how to use the conversions to actually solve a problem or answer a question. So the first the question that I have written for us here says, how many minutes are in a week? How many minutes are in a week? So uh, we can use our conversions to find this answer. So if I have, um, if I'm starting with a week, I'm going to write that down, right? One week. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply it using ratios. So within a week and whatever I get rid of, I want to get rid of, I'm going to put on the bottom. I'm going to run out of room. So um, one week, I'm, I want to get rid of weeks, so I'm putting that on the bottom, is equal to seven days. Okay. Then I want to get rid of days, so I'm going to put days here. Days. Uh, one day is equal to 24 hours. And then I want to convert from hours to, I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to convert from hours to minutes, right? Because I'm trying to get to minutes. So I'm trying to go from a week to a minute. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes. Okay, so. And that's going to give me, I'm going to land on whatever I have last year, or last here. So that's going to tell me how many minutes are in a week if I work all of this out. Now, when um, the reason that this works is because basically you're multiplying by a week and you're dividing by a week. When you do that, you cross out or you cancel out that um that unit of measurement. So just like if you multiply a number by five and then you divided it by five, you get right back where you started. If you multiply by a week and divide by a week, it's canceling itself out. So then days are going to cancel itself out. Hours would cancel themselves out. And I would be left with minutes, which is the unit of measurement that I'm trying to get to. Now, are all of your conversions going to have four steps or five steps like this? No, but you will continue to see this in mathematics as you get into high school and greater levels 
um, a dip with greater levels of difficulty. So now all I have to do is work this out to get from hours to minutes. So I need to do one times seven, well that's seven. Then I need to do seven times 24. Seven times four is 28. Eight goes here, carry the two. Two times seven is 14, plus two is 16. That's 168. And then I need to take my 168 and I need to multiply it times 60. 168 times 60. All right, um, that's a zero. I understand place value, so I know that I can just make my answer 10 times larger by placing that zero in my answer. And now I can just multiply these numbers times six. Six times eight is 48. Eight goes here, carry the four. Six times six is 20 or 36, plus four is 40. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. So that is the answer to my question. My final answer is 10,080 minutes per week. There are 10,080 minutes in a week, if you were curious. Um, how many minutes are in a week? There's your answer. So again, is this the only way to do this? No, you've been doing measurement conversions probably all year, and you may or may not have ever used or even seen a formula like this to get to your answer. This is not the only way to do it. You can just reason your way through this. You would have probably known to do these multiplication problems. You just might not have ever seen it set up exactly like this before. I am showing this to you because, again, you're going to see this in years to come in mathematics, and it is one method on how to get to your answers for measurement conversion. Good luck with this, guys.